hey guys crystal renee here welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for joining in today's video we're going to be talking about the ficus elastica also known as the rubber plant hey guys as you see in the title today's video will be about my rubber plants i want you to excuse my voice i am a bit under the weather and kind of healing from a cold slash flu but I still wanted to come on and bring a video to you all because I feel like I've been neglecting you all. So with no further ado, let's get straight into the video. So a while back, I picked up this rubber plant. I had my eyes on it for a while, um, but I never thought to get it. And then eventually I was like, why not? So I picked up this beauty. It came with four of them inside of one pot. And I think it's beautiful. At first I had to learn how to care for this plant because it did drop a few bottom leaves. I had no idea what I was doing wrong, but apparently I had it too far away from the light and at one point I think I had it in the light a little bit too much it was getting direct sunlight which caused a little burning on some of the leaves which I think I removed already so once I got an understanding of what this plant liked I placed it in my southwest facing window up on the shelf you see behind me at the very top where it gets bright but indirect light and it loves it. It's been putting off new leaves ever since. So yeah, I water her about once a week and she's been doing well. So recently I went into my local fries. Look at what they got at this store. Yeah. How, how, did, how did they feel about seeing here? Hi, Leo. This is the one that I really wanted. And I had my eyes on a variegated version of this plant. And I finally picked her up. Let me show you. Ta da! Isn't she gorgeous? Yes. Look at all the pink variegation. I don't know how it's picking up on my camera, but in person, it looks amazing. Look at that on these leaves. It's beautiful. So this particular plant came with eight of them in one pot. I was thinking about splitting them up leaving one of the larger ones by itself and mixing some of it with my original one. 
and maybe starting a smaller plant by itself. Who knows? Maybe to sell or you never know. Do a giveaway. Who knows? But yeah, I do plan on separating both of these plants and combining them, having one separate one by itself and maybe a few extra plants on the side. But all in all, this is a gorgeous plant and I am so happy that I picked it up. Now with the variegated version, you don't want to have it as close to the light as you would the regular version. Now, I keep saying the regular version. I know that's the incorrect way or name for it, but I know there's like a burgundy rubber plant and this is the pink variegated. I know there's a like a yellowish variegated one and there's a darker one. It's like, I think the darker one is the burgundy and I think this is the original. So if you know the correct term for that, please drop it in the comments below, please. But yeah. Would it look nice to mix the two? What do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments. Should I mix the two? So, yeah. So as for this plant, it, um, like I said, likes indirect bright light. It likes the soil to be mo moist. You want to let it completely dry out before you water again. Um, the leaves tend to brown or yellow if you overwater or droop or you may drop a few leaves if it's unhappy. But all in all, this is a fairly easy plant to look after. I'm just so in love with it guys, it's beautiful. But with me being sick, I hadn't had time to you know, split it up like I wanted to do so. I will be doing that soon once I feel a little bit better. So out of, out of these two, which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. I think now I'm going to show you a few photos that I took of these beauties. So as you may or may not know, the rubber plant has many names. Ficus elastica, the rubber fig, rubber bush, rubber tree, rubber plant, or Indian rubber bush, or Indian rubber tree. Its species of the plant is the fig. It's native to the eastern parts of South Asia. In Southeast Asia it has become neutralized in the West Indies and the US state of Florida so let's get to the benefits of this plant while the rubber plant are grown as easy care house plants they also improve indoor air quality according to the studies conducted by NASA their large leaves can absorb airborne chemicals and break them down rendering them harmless. They absorb exhaled carbon dioxide and convert it into breathable oxygen. So this plant is also a quick growing plant. It gains 24 inches or more in height each growing season. In an outdoor setting, it can reach a maximum height of 50 to 100 feet. Though indoors, it could reach a maximum of 25 feet. It takes about six years for this plant to grow to the point where it's economical to harvest the sap, which is called latex. Another thing about this plant, if the leaves droop without falling off, you know you're underwatering the plant. I wanna tell you about propagating this plant. Propagating is fairly easy as well. If you want to take, cut off one of the leaves, 
you can put it in some rooting hormone and just put it into the soil and it shall grow. And I think you are to cut it in half. And you can put it in like a Ziploc bag and spritz water in it in for the humidity as well so that it can grow until its own plant. So propagating is easy. Another thing about the rubber plant is it can grow fairly large. But if you want it to, if it's grown to the desired height that you like, just clip it off the top. Clip the branch at the top and it will stunt its growth and it will make it a bushier plant at the height that you want it to be. So say you want to take a cutting but you don't want to stun its growth. Then you will just take a cutting from a lower part of the plant from the side shoot or something like that. You don't want to take it from the top because once you cut the top of this plant, that's the height it's going to be. But I want mine to grow fairly tall, as tall as I can get it indoors. And yeah, so I'm going to let mine continue to grow before I clip the top of it. Good thing I have a few of them. So if I want to have another plant, I can just separate them. That's the first thing that I look for when I'm buying a plant. I look at how many stems they have in the pot. How many do I have to work with? But yeah, so that is it for this video. If you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified for the next time that I post. And please be sure to share this video. And also, I wanted to thank everyone for getting my channel to 1,200 plus subscribers. I greatly appreciate you all and I wasn't able to do it without you. And thank you for all your comments the likes, the shares, and all the love that you give in general. Those words again. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate you. If you're ready for another giveaway, share this video, comment, and get it to as many people as you can. And I will be doing another giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. So. I'm excited for that. Until next time, happy growing. Let's not forget, if you haven't already, please follow me on all my social media platforms. And until next time, happy growing. Bye.